Salima. I'm an ex-offender. Uh, my last uh, admission was year 2010, where I was served seven years. And after the remission, which is four years, eight months, um, I just released on the beginning of year 2015. To face the reality where the past few years I was in incarceration where the world is different. It's not easy, you know? So when the, the officers uh, come to my house, house where me and my husband was arrested in front of my children and the one that really had broke me is when my daughter was telling the officer please don't take my mother away I need my mother especially my younger one she doesn't know me because at that age of 14 months they cannot remember where they are on asking the sister People got mother, where is our mother? How does our mother look like? Do you have the photo? You know, this is what they, they, they write to me. I tell you, I can't even stand still when they, they ask. I'm very sad and I and I feel like screaming, you know. I, I... Then came NLS who conduct a, a program where they call it Early Readers. My youngest daughter. She asked for my photograph. She asked what my name and where I am. I have to give something that my daughter know that I'm present. I would like to thank you and to to NLS who are helping me to unite back with my children. You know, it's cause I've done a lot for for our fam for my family. Currently now I'm in a mother support group. Majority of the staff at East Coast uh, understand, and we, we talk very well. They understand us. They just treat us like a friend, and I'm, I'm very happy that they are very open, and it is, it's comfortable for me to share with them. I came to Taiwan uh, Family Service Centre, and they engaged me, one of the counsellors. They arranged for me one counsellor. So, which is Ivan So, he motivate me and he give me a very strong support. Whatever uh, advice and whatever tips that he, he gave to me, I apply it now and I can see there's a change in my, my, my life. So many organizations helping me to build our confidence level and that is an improvement. Awareness to say that, oh, I'm not alone. I don't need to, to, to feel fear already. I don't need to feel scared or feel shame or whatever it is. It's okay. You know, I tell myself, it's okay, with all this organization helping you, you consider you have the assurance there. I think my current impact on <laughs> we mingle around. Some of them also is ex-convict like me, and some are no. And some of them, they need help. So whenever they need help, what I can do is just I'm helping. But for me, it's because this is the time for me to do the contribution because every time people gave me, now I have to give out, you see. Whenever people do good things to you, you have to give something we respect and we appreciate. This is the appreciation that I got. This is, this is what I give. Some kind of honour to me. So this, is, this, this thing motivates me to, to, to give back to the society.